So we're back. We're at uh, three quarters. I've done a quarter of it. So what I've noticed so far is this this Skurka is way more consistent than um, the last cigar I had. I'm trying to still remember which one it was. Oh, I remember. It was the um, Black Lotus. That one was decent. Eh, I'd say it's on the lower end of average um, compared to some of the other ones that I've, I've talked about and reviewed. Um, this one has been very consistent as you can see it's burning very evenly all the way around and this is the wrapper by the way if anybody is uh, looking it up um, so let's give it a shot Still very smooth, um, hasn't harshened up. Usually by this point, the cigar either gets stronger, harsher, uh, which I don't like actually. I'd like it consistent as possible. Obviously as it burns more, it does, um, I guess, make it a little harsher. Um, the Dalmore Sherry Cask 12 year is I'd venture to say it's actually better than the uh, than the regular 12 personally um, does so it the scar does bring out some of the almost citrus taste tiny bit of um, like dried fruit um, and there's a definite caramel taste in there sweet caramelly which I've said I, I like and with so having this first then this you can definitely enjoy the, it does have a little bit of caramel in it, um, and which is what I'm looking for. Uh, all in all, it's a very good uh, combination, these two. Um, I will touch base with you once I am way further down and we will see how it goes. Talk to you soon. So we're back again down to almost a quarter of it left um so we're gonna give it a, a try obviously the delmore stays consistent and very good um i was uh, told by my beautiful wife that she read what was on the box and there is a apparently a hint of mango and uh other things in it which I didn't get the taste of the, the mango <coughs> I still get the caramel the, the dried fruits I guess and mainly it I mean obviously the sherry stays true the whole way through um, now for the cigar now it has gotten harsher now that we're down past the halfway point um, I'd say this is, it's, a, it's an okay cigar. Um, the thing that I find with this cigar versus like 
better cigars in my point of view is that once it gets lower uh, some of the better cigars that I've liked I'm still looking for a better one than like uh, H. Upman Magnum 54 or the uh, uh, La Flor Dominicana uh, the Andalusian Bolt those ones as you get start out really good then as you get down it's it reveals new flavors sometimes better flavors this one ha, uh, it not that it's burnt tasting but it does it has more of your traditional tobacco flavor uh, kind of plain uh, it has its earthy to it um, but it doesn't reveal like those notes of, uh, of like caramel other things that you want to get like a surprise if you will for the cigars um, I wouldn't say it's bad the other thing I've noticed that it, if, if I show you it has cracked a little at the bottom so that is another thing of a, a slightly cheaper cigar is that the outer leaf doesn't stay as consistent. It's not as bad as the, um, um, it, it's not as bad as the, my cameraman was just telling me something. Um, it doesn't stay as consistent with the leaf outside and it, um, that is something you want. And it's just like the quality, like I said before, the quality isn't as high, but I'm trying different cigars for myself and for you guys out there to know what what's good, what's not. I'd recommend it for someone that isn't having it as much, um, like cigars. But if you're going for higher end cigars, I, I probably wouldn't do this as often. It'd be more of a, um, once in a while, you know, like a quick cigar. Um, all in all, it's been good, um, but after that halfway point, not as good. Um, the pairing is definitely still something I'd recommend, but I would stick, if you're going for the higher end or a little more expensive scotch, I'd probably go a little bit um, higher end cigar this i would probably stick with a, a slightly like a coffee or um, a cheaper scotch or whiskey or whatever you like um if you're sticking with like a champagne which not a lot of people think about but like if you're having champagne stick with the higher end cigars and maybe a little milder too you're gonna overpower that champagne taste. Um, even though it's dry, it's um, it's not gonna hold up against the cigar, obviously. So, say the Dalmore Sherry Cask. So far, it's better than the regular 12 year. Um, the Gurkha Heritage is uh, middle of the line, average cigar fairly inexpensive in Canada their cigars are expensive so this you're looking at about uh, 20 20 dollars um, higher a little bit higher end you're gonna be looking at uh, 30 to 50 dollars uh, but well worth the while with a bit better scotch if you have any comments or any suggestions let me know in the comments box and I will definitely get back to you. Thanks guys.